Hello, I'm Jawahar. I'm going to talk about Cisco IT's borderless networking strategy. What do we mean by borderless networking? We're talking about traditional borders dissolving or the lines becoming increasingly blurred. So what are those traditional borders? Location borders, device borders, and application borders. Let's talk about each one of these in a little more detail. Location borders. This is probably the most mature of all the three we are talking today. Uh, one of the things that has happened is broadband penetration. In addition to software VPN inside Cisco, we also have a Cisco Virtual Office solution where we provide a hardware VPN solution to, to our home users. And we have about 15,000 of these users uh, at Cisco today. And uh, we've, we've got solid productivity benefits out of that, and one of the, one of the measurements that we found out was uh, employees are getting, on average, 10.2 hours of extra productivity every week as a result of having a Cisco Virtual Office solution. The next thing that, that uh, definitely comes up here is wireless. We're talking about Wi-Fi. Uh, but uh, we, we have about 7,000 access points globally across Cisco used by pretty much every single employee. Uh, but there are a lot of trends that we are seeing with the wireless space itself, like integration with uh, mobile networking. Uh, mobile data is another one that's exploding. So uh, wireless and mobile integration is something that we will be seeing a lot in the coming years. And let's not forget the branch office. So one of the things inside Cisco that we strive to do is get the same level of experience and service level agreements to our branch office users compared to our campus users. Things like van optimization, integrated security, content networking, all of these technologies, they enable our branch office strategy when it comes to borderless networking. The second border that we're going to talk is device borders. The, this is the strategy around anytime, anywhere, any device. And what we are seeing along with that is consumerization of the enterprise. Personal and professional environments, they are kind of coming together. So you're seeing a lot of things that's happening in the personal environment also carried over into the professional environment. And then our users today, they have uh, a better choice. They, they can pick the operating system of their choice when it comes to working with devices inside the enterprise itself. And then the last border, application borders. We are talking about internal versus external applications and how this area is changing rapidly. And one of the trends that's enforcing this change is, or accelerating this change is cloud computing. On-premise versus public cloud. So Cisco, internally, we are working on our strategy with cloud computing, how we will virtualize our internal environment while at the same time exploring opportunities with a cloud computing environment, both on-premise as well as uh, a public cloud strategy. Uh, SaaS-based applications, software as a service, so that's something that's very prevalent within Cisco. WebEx is uh, one of the classic examples. We use WebEx conferencing uh, pretty much across the board. Uh, IonPort is another example that we use internally. And then we also use a lot of applications based on SaaS model. Our CRM application is all SaaS-based. We have uh, many of our finance applications that are SaaS based today. And along with virtualization, we're really seeing the benefits of enabling a true cloud-based strategy into the future. So for example, one of the uh, projected benefits for Cisco in terms of savings, just from cabling savings alone, using a unified I.O. architecture, we are projecting about 40% of cost savings. Again, to summarize, the traditional borders are dissolving. And uh, Cisco internally, we are aligning ourselves to enable the strategy. You will hear more from us in the coming months. Stay tuned. Thank you.